Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a beer ramble video and what I've got here is Belgian Moon, aka Blue Moon. Um, so this has been highly requested in the comment section like so many people. I think this is the most requested beer video so far. Um, and I've been calling around different liquor stores for Blue Moon. I was like, yo, you got Blue Moon, you got Blue Moon. Everyone's like, no, we don't carry Blue Moon. Um, they didn't even know what I was talking about. But um, I googled it, um, and apparently it's referred to as Belgian Moon in Canada. So this is how it's branded. So it's the same beer, it's just branded differently. I don't know why. Um, so yeah, I just picked some up, and we're going to try it out. I've never had it before. Alright, so I got three bottles here. Belgian Moon. Yeah, Blue Moon. Brewed in North America. That's what it says on the top there. The first one I'll drink in a bottle, and then the second one I'll drink in a cup. I'm actually like really thirsty too, so this could, this is like perfect. Yeah, it smells like beer. A little different though. doesn't have like a weird aftertaste which is in a way weird to me because a lot of beers have like a weird aftertaste but this is like just nothing I don't know well it's actually pretty good Belgian moon so what I bought was a um a 12 pack and it was 26 bucks I don't know if that's regular or not but 26 bucks for a 12 pack actually on the hunt for um, Samuel Adams. I, I'm going to do that one because somebody commented in the um, comment section and they were like, um, everybody liked this comment so he sees uh, Samuel Adams or something like that. So I went out looking for it. Oh, excuse me. So I went out looking for it and um, yeah, I went to a few places and one guy's like, no, we don't carry it. And another place didn't have it. So I don't know if that's named something different in Canada. So I don't know. I'll have to Google that. But when I was going to look for it, I saw this Belgian moon and I was like, Belgian moon, that's kind of like blue moon. And then I looked at the label and I was like, it's kind of like the blue moon label. So I Googled it and it said it's just branded different in Canada. So I figured that one out. actually really like that. It's not as good as Corona. Corona's still bomb, but um, I'm just going to call it Blue Moon. Blue Moon's good, man. Alright, um, so if you guys don't know, I have an Instagram and a Snapchat. You can add me on that. It's in the comment section. The reason why I'm bringing that up is because I did a, or I posted something on Instagram. It was a screenshot from my PayPal. Um, I think in, uh, might have been my last video, or I know I talk about it all the time in my videos, but I really wanted to get a MacBook. And those motherfuckers ain't cheap, but a subscriber, um, I didn't get permission to say the name or shout anybody out, like, give any, I don't know, names or anything, but, um, I got off work today, and I got an email from PayPal, and I was like, uh, you've got money deposited in, into your account, so I looked at it, and it was enough money to get a MacBook, and I was like, what the fuck, I thought I was going, like, I thought I was seeing things, and then, yeah, it was just crazy, man. Somebody sent me money to get a MacBook. Um, obviously, I messaged them and thanked them, and um, I didn't get a reply back yet, but, like, I asked. 
asked if um, I could give them a shout out, so I didn't get permission because I didn't get a uh, sort of reply back yet. Um, but if you're watching this video, thank you so much. Like that was the biggest surprise I've ever had of my life. Like that just blew my mind. Like that, and it was like such a I wouldn't say shit day at work, but it was a rough day at work. And when I was done work, I looked at that and I was like, holy shit. I called up my mom and I told her first and then I uh, told my sister. I was like, great, excited. I almost shit myself because I had to use bathroom really bad, but I didn't. So it was good. Um, no, but yo, shout out to you, man. Thank you so much. Um, inbox me or something. And yeah. a nice color. It looks like apple juice, eh? It's like real. Um, I don't know if they're coming. You know what? I don't think I ever had a thumbnail of the beer inside of the 
surprised it did so good. I might have to do another hard liquor um, video. I've got so many beers written down from the comment section that you guys have wrote, um, but I don't really have much hard liquor. So in this video, if you want to write down a liquor, like hard stuff or something like that, uh, just put in the comment section. I'll go through it and then like I don't know, whichever one gets the most likes or something like that. Um, I've never tried Ciroc. I was thinking about doing that one. I think that's pretty expensive too. But um, I actually really wanted to try it for a long time and I've never tried it before. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Ciroc, C-I-R-O-C, -I, I think. I think it's flavored or something. She wakes up 
she goes downstairs and smokes a cigarette two or three times a night. So instead of doing that, she wanted to wake up and smoke that right in bed and continue smoking the same amount of cigarettes as she normally does. I guess in a way that is kind of cutting down, but I thought she was going to like actually try to quit smoking like this was going to but no, she just didn't want to get up and go downstairs and smoke a cigarette. She just wanted to smoke that in bed, go back to bed. I get you. Yeah, in a way, that is cutting down because um, then that's three less cigarettes that she's not smoking. But no, she didn't like the um, she didn't like the taste of it. Fuck, mama's been smoking since she was like 13 years old. She's never gonna quit. Me, I started smoking when I was. 16 and uh, I never really got addicted I only like when I when I drink that's the only time I need a cigarette but now that I have this it's so much better than the jewel like the jewel didn't really help much I mean it did but you have to like reef on that thing to even get any good inhale this you just gotta this week and I think me and mom are gonna just have some old fishing rods that I haven't used for a long time I think it might even been three years two years probably yeah and we're just gonna go fishing man it's gonna be fun as long as it's sunny out I don't want to go like when there's clouds and you don't know if it's gonna rain or not I want a nice beautiful day sit out there four or five hours and just fucking just just cast and try to get something there's a, a post on facebook where somebody was asking for nice fishing holes around my area and like a hundred people commented and now i've got like a hundred different options so i can just like scroll through that i saved the link so that i can go back and just like look at all the different ones and then we can pick a a good spot to go spend some some bonding time with mom I don't care what she says I am not bringing Henry Henry's not coming he's gotta stay home for this one this is me and mom time imagine though like I get in the car and fucking Henry's in the back with the seatbelt on and everything mom makes like a little fishing rod for him oh dude she was freaking out today so I came home from lunch and she was outside smoking a cigarette so I sat outside with her and talked to her for a bit I was smoking this she starts looking at Henry like the tomato plant if you, you're new to this channel mom's got a tomato plant she calls it Henry it's her fucking fourth kid I'm starting to think she likes it more than me and my sisters um but anyway so she starts looking at it and the thing's actually starting to grow tomatoes like it's got small little green tomatoes on it she took pictures and everything she posted on facebook every time mom posts something on facebook she shares her own post i don't think she understands that's not how it works you don't share your own post because once you post it that's you sharing about whatever that's what she does though every single post that's what she does and i think me and my sisters are the only ones that have her on facebook facebook facebook's 
Yes, that's what that's how she calls it. She also she also laughs at her own um, posts and she likes her own posts too. So I mean, it's her Facebook. She can do what she wants.
always in the trailer park, we would just do it, get a bunch of candy, and then we'd like sit in the woods and just get high and eat it all. Unfortunately, I don't smoke weed anymore, so. But unfortunately, why would that be unfortunate? I don't know, I still love eating candy though. I'm actually getting a pretty good buzz off these beers. I didn't even check the percentage. 5.4, what the heck? Or in all the other beers, 4.5. They switching it up on us. Is that a states thing? Made in the states, but it's a Belgian beer. Interesting. Oh yeah, do you guys like my shirt? I don't know if you can really see it. It's it's like it's like a jean. A jean fabric. I got it from Old Navy. I went to the West End Mall the other day with my buddy and um, I wanted to go check out Old Navy and I found this shirt. It was on sale and I really liked it. And I was like walking back and forth thinking about getting it and he's like just get it dude it looks good. So I bought it. I think I paid a little bit too much even though it was on sale. I paid 16 bucks for it which I think is a little bit too much. Um, when I spend like four, five, six, seven dollars at the thrift shop. Oh yeah, thrift shops are back open in Alberta. On Friday, we start to phase two. So there's three phases or stages. Stages, there's stage one, which is what we're in right now. Which is like pretty much everything can open up. Well, not everything, but like a lot of things can open up retail stores and stuff like that, but like limited amount of customers. Stage two starts Friday, and that's where like um, just more people in the stores, uh, you can, um, gyms can open back up. So I'm gonna be training again. Like I'm so pumped for that. My like actual gym that I train at made a post, and he said he's not gonna open back up on the date that they're allowed to. He wants to make sure that he's able to sanitize everything and. Uh, come up with like a game plan of how to keep everybody safe and stuff like that so I mean it makes sense New Brunswick like the province I'm from um, I think they were in that stage where gyms are allowed to open back up and they've got like nine new cases or something like that like this COVID thing is so fucked up. Like, I wish it would just go away. It's like a bad nightmare. Oh, man. I might have to take it. I might have to drink another beer. I'm in just, like, such a good mood right now, so. I just want to talk. Just go on about nothing. Which is my life. <laughs> yeah, that's it. No, I don't know. I'm just happy, man. Like, with everything that's going on right now, like, I just feel so blessed. So, good times, man. Good times. And then, it's my weekend off, which makes it even better. gym's not opening up right then I might go into Edmonton and just find a gym that is that way I can like I don't know get a little bit of training in I've been jogging around um, this like little man-made lake well it's not little it's five kilometers um, all the way around and uh, I've been jogging around that that's pretty much all I've been doing I haven't like been hitting the punching bag which I should be doing I haven't been obviously training in jiu jitsu because I just don't have nobody to train with. I was thinking about buying like a bunch of blankets and like uh, shirts and stuff in my gi, like that, like fill in the arms. That way I could practice moves. But I didn't do that. I thought about it, but I didn't do it. But I was thinking about buying one of those jiu jitsu dummies, but those things are way 
too expensive, not worth it. But, um, yeah, like doing kickboxing and boxing, you can train that at home, like by yourself, because you can get a punching bag, you can punch it, you can, you can practice combos that you learned in class. Um, and that's why like a lot of gyms, they do Zoom, like they keep the memberships running if you want to. And they do it on Zoom so that everybody can just like go in on the video chat and they can still teach the class. You just gotta like do the workout at home. But with Jiu Jitsu it's hard because you need another partner, right? And mom's not gonna roll with me, imagine. Fuck, it lights up a cigarette, like right in between. This beer make everybody else so gassy. Holy shit. to find a gym in Edmonton that's opening back up this weekend and I could go train that'd be oh dude that'd be so cool every time I jog around the little river thing or the lake um, I put my music in I just fucking go man like it's I like I feel at peace I only go when it's like really nice out and yeah I don't know it's just like so calming like you just just get to think like you just think about life and think about like everything man and uh, it's a five kilometers so it takes me about I don't know 20 25 minutes to do it so I get to do a lot of thinking and I like to think about jujitsu moves I know it sounds weird but if I'm not thinking about it I'm, I feel like I'm gonna forget about it and I'm gonna forget a bunch of moves so like um, every time after class I'll write down what I learned so I have like in my phone a big list of pretty much all the moves and in my mind I just go over it and over it and over it because I'm like obsessed with it it's weird and uh, I don't know I just like it mental it's a lifestyle if you've never done jiu jitsu try it out it's awesome it could either change your life or you just don't like it but i mean like you're really not gonna lose nothing there's a motherfucking bike outside i can hear it you guys can probably hear it i'm sorry about that actually no it's not a bike it's buddy with this fucking yeah it is a bike oh man i don't want to pause the video i'm going to okay the asshole on the bike left I honestly think he pulled into my driveway like I pulled I parked my car into my garage so I have I think I'm the only one that has an open space in my driveway I think he pulled into my driveway and sat there for like five minutes I was gonna go out there and throw fucking Henry at him so I should have done I should have ran down there and threw Henry at him I'd be like yeah motherfucker I hate like that fucking tomato on Henry just like breaks off gets him right in the eye I'm just kidding I wouldn't do that Henry doesn't deserve that I'm gonna open one more I'm actually getting a pretty good buzz fuck which is I mean it's good in a way but it's also good not good because I have to work tomorrow but it's beer I'm never hung over off beer I mean if I go downstairs and jump the rest of that Hennessy I'll definitely be hung over but we're not gonna do that. This one doesn't have an expiration date on it. it when they're watching it but if you like film videos yourself 
then you notice it because you're always looking out for it when you do it yourself. And I remember, see, like it just keeps happening. I remember I used to always wanted to um, stop the video when it happened to me and delete it, delete that part. But you know, what? It's, it's whatever, man. It just happens, and sometimes it's relaxing. The sound, like not the actual. I feel like tomorrow's gonna go by quick. I shouldn't have said that. If I if I say that, then it probably won't. But hopefully tomorrow goes by quick. I pretty much know what I have to do at work tomorrow. Usually when I go into work, I don't know. Um, like I have a slight idea, and the game the game plan just kind of like one uh, eighties, and like I'm doing something totally different. But I know what I'm doing all day tomorrow, so. I know it's gonna be a full day thing, and usually when it's a full day thing, um, I'm focused on it. I'm focused to get the mission done, and it makes the day go by. I'm not thinking about anything else. I'm just, I know I gotta get done. It's gonna take a while, but if I work at this speed, it'll get done in the eight hours. So I'm really hoping that tomorrow goes by quick, because then it's two days and then I get the weekend off. Super stoked. In a way, like, when things were closing down, I was kind of hoping, like, just a very small amount, I was hoping that, I, like, we might have, like, reduced hours or, like, I don't know, have, like, two weeks off or whatever, but then again, it's like, man, no. I just want to work and make money. I read... I read... Um, on Facebook that apparently a lot of people applied for the COVID emergency fund thing. And here in Canada they call it CERB. C-E-R-B. And like a lot of people applied for it. People that didn't even need it applied for it because they were just giving it to anybody because they just wanted to get people that needed the money. They just wanted to give it to them like real quick. So they didn't do any background checks. They didn't do any information checks or anything like that. So they just, you just apply for it and you get it. So everybody was applying for it. Not everybody, but like a lot of people. And a lot of people didn't need it or didn't qualify for it, but they just did it anyway to get the money. But I read that there could be some real hefty fines, like $24,000 fines, or up to six months months in jail. So, that's fucking insane. And uh, I'm not going to say any names or anything, but I mean, I've got people on Facebook that I know personally that I know weren't working and didn't obviously not uh, qualify for it, but they just did it. And they're, they were like posting pictures and stuff of them getting drunk and showing all these stacks of cash and stuff like that. So it's like, dude, you're gonna like mess everything up in your life for a couple, a couple weeks of having fun. It's not good. if I was 16, 17 years old, um, or even when I was like 18, 19, I was still a fucking idiot, I probably would have applied for it back home, I wasn't doing nothing, I was just getting drunk and fucking hanging out in the streets, man, I probably would have done it and fucked everything up even worse, oh, mom said that, um, mom said that, oh, there's the bike again, nice, thanks for coming back, buddy, um, must have forgot something. Alright, hopefully it's not too loud on camera because I don't want to cut it again. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, mom was saying that some people were actually using their dead relatives' social insurance numbers to get extra SERP checks, and people in jail were applying for it. So they would, like, people that knew people in 
jail, they'd get their social insurance numbers and they'd apply for it. So, so kind of a bunch of scams. That's what it's called in Canada, by the way. Social insurance number. In the States, it's called uh, social security, I think. I'm not 100%. I'll Google it. I bet you if you like YouTube, how to apply for CERB, it's going to be like one of the hottest topics. Man, that fucking bike is pissing me off. I might go out there and throw Henry at him. He's in my fucking driveway. I know it. If you guys can't hear that, then you could probably think I'm crazy right now. Yeah. I mean, it's almost 12 o'clock at night. Why do you need to be driving your motorcycle around on a fucking Monday? I mean, if I had a motorbike, I'd probably do the same thing. I want a motorbike now. No. That sucks that you have to do, like, another driving test to get your motorbike license. I'd love that one. That'd be fucking awesome. You know what? You have fun, motorbike dude. That'd be fun. dead a couple days ago I drove by Burger King and they had a big poster outside and it said 10 chicken nuggets for $2.99 so I think I'm going to go there tomorrow after work and pick up $30 worth of chicken nuggets <laughs> honestly because I'm craving some chicken nuggets so look out for that video excuse me 
Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time.